Hello and welcome to another how-to video from Evansa Learning Inc. Some days ago during an Excel class I got asked a question that I've been asked three or four times before and that is how to filter a pivot table field based on an items value and not a fields value. Now for example here is a pivot table that has been created from this dummy data over here and the person who asked me this question would like to filter these these row labels these row items based on whether they have a negative value in each year. So for example, they'd like to retain this and something like this in the pivot table and filter out everything else that has at least one positive value in the year. Now, most of most of us or most of you would know that when you filter based on the field filter, you can use the value filters, but the value filters allow you to filter based on the entire value field and not on individual item values. To be able to filter on individual item values, you need to have a field that distinguishes whether the item has a negative value in each year or not. So in other words, you need to add another column into your raw data. So we're going to take a look at using a calculated column and how you can quickly do that and use that as a report filter to slice your pivot table and ensure it includes only those that have negative values in each year. Let's take a look. So here we are back with the data. And one of the things that I like to do is to convert this data to a dynamic table before we begin. That's simply because I have the choice then of adding the calculated column after the fact or adding more columns if I need to. Now, before we begin, uh, there is one rider that uh, I'll talk about uh, to make things simple. So to keep things simple, what we've ensured is that for each of the accounts, so we're going to do this based on the accounts here, and we're going to say if each any account has a negative value in any year uh, or in all years, we want that to be displayed in the pivot table. So all we need to do is to bring in a field here which determines whether each of these items has a negative value in each of the years that are in this column. Now to make to keep things simple, we've ensured that there is only one entry per year per account. That means, for example, advertising cannot have more than one value for 2004. And that would simulate real life to an extent because if you're, if you're doing a plan versus actual or a budget versus actual, you would, have a, you would have one number or one actual value and one plan value for each year. Also, if you're looking at the variance, for example, you'd have a single entry for each year. Now you can do this if you had more than one entry per year, but that simply includes the number of increases the number of formulas you would have to build. So let's get started with this one rule that we just have one entry per year per account. So I'm going to begin by converting this to a dynamic table. And I'll do that from this command here on the home tab. And there's my table. Now the next thing I'm going to do, because it's a table now, I have the liberty of creating the pivot table first and then adding the calculated column later. So I'm going to right away go ahead and create a pivot table from this. And because we'd like to keep the pivot table near the data so that we can look at both, I'm going to create it on the same sheet. And I'll configure this by putting the accounts in the rows, the amount in the values, and the year in the columns. So there we are, that's our pivot table as it was before. And we'd like it now to include only those that have negative values in each year. So I'm gonna include a calculated column here and I'm simply gonna call it include yes or no. And my calculated column is going to have a true or false value to decide whether it should be included or not. Now I'll do this in stages. So the first thing we'll do here is to find out how many times a particular account has a positive value or how many times does it have a negative value. You can go either way. 
if you find out how many times it has a positive value, then any account that has no positive values should be included. So let's go that way. So we go equals count ifs. And the first criteria range is going to be the account column. So I'm going to select the entire account column. And in that criteria, in that account column, I'm going to count only certain accounts. So each line will count only the accounts for that line. So right now on this cell, I'll be counting only those that have an account furniture. The second criteria range is going to be the amount itself. So I'll select the entire amount column and the criteria for that column is, is that value each cell in that column greater than zero? And of course, since it's a criteria, I'm going to make sure I put it in quotes when using the comparative operators. So that's going to tell me how many times each of these accounts have positive values. So let's go ahead and close that bracket and press enter there. And there you can see, we know that advertising has now four positive values. Repairs has two positive values. And uh, scroll down here, you'll see that some of them have no positive values. So telecom has no positive values. And then we have car hire, which has no positive values consumables with no positive values. So we've got three accounts with no positive values. Now you can use this itself as a slicer to include in your pivot table. But let's make it a little neater and just bring it down to a true or false answer. So I'm going to modify this formula here and I'm simply going to convert this formula to a logical expression. And I go, is this whole thing equals to zero? We don't need the brackets really, but just for discipline, I'm putting in the brackets. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I, need to, I need to say, is the whole thing equal to zero? And there we go. Only those have a zero will be true. Everything else will be false. So now we've brought it down to a true or false answer. All I need to do here is to refresh my pivot table. And that field will now be included. And I can use that field as a slicer. And I'm going to do that right away. add the include field as a slicer. You could also use it in the report filter if you like and select true as the value. And there you can see we have our three items that have negative values in each year is now included in this pivot table. You can decide whether you want to keep the grand total or not. Um, if you have negative values uh, and you're looking at each value in each year, you perhaps may not want to have the grand total. So we can right click on it and remove grand total. So there's our pivot table and that was a simple solution. Doubtless, there are other solutions. You can, you can have other formulas. This is not the only formula you can use. There are other solutions that you can use. And if you have more than one entry per year, you may find yourself building either an array formula or multiple columns. Uh, that's of course a topic for another video. Uh, usually you will have just one entry per, per year and this quick and easy formula should help you to uh, build a calculated column that you can use as a filter. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video informative and you found something in it that you can take back to your work. Stay in touch and I hope to see you again in some of my other videos.